Hello, it's Balrich. I made an oopsie. Uh, I recorded a video earlier. Yeah, let's see so I don't have that set up now. Uh, good. Uh, I have my uh, recording set up like this. I start the recording automatically with a script, of course, but I'm using this uh, simple screen recorder program to record. Um, when the recording is done, this script will automatically extract the audio from the recording, the, the video, and open that audio file, which is an OG Vorbis file in Audacity, so I can um, fix the sound, uh, which is usually I just make some, add some compressor and uh, See, uh, try to add some noise reduction, like a light noise reduction filter on, on the audio recording. And then when I have done that, I save that um, edited audio to the same file. Exit, the, uh, and when I exit Audacity, then the script will uh, get control again and merge the, the new cleaned up sound into the video recording again. So yeah, it's, it, that's the process that I, that I use here. And for me, that is ju just to, for me to do as little as possible. You know, I don't have to open Audacity manually. I don't have to manually extract the audio, blah, blah, blah. All of that is done automatically. But what happened now is that I just recorded here uh, Advent of Code 2, uh, where I solved uh, today's uh, puzzle on Advent of Code. I, or I recorded it quite a while back at around 12, so around nine hours ago, I did this recording. Um, and then I did other stuff during the day and then um, I came back here to the computer and then I thought I should record this video that I'm doing now, basically, because I wanted to make an advent of code general video and describe what I'm doing here, really, because I've created this uh, advent of code playlist, which only have one video and it probably will not get the second video because I messed up here. And when I did that video nine hours ago, I did the video, uh, stopped the recording, the audio uh, got extracted, Audacity was opened, I cleaned the sound, but then I forgot uh, to close Audacity. So uh, Audacity was open all along. And then I just recorded this other general video about Advent of Code. I will get back to this, what, what this is, because that will bake, get baked into this video now. Um, I recorded that video, stopped the recording. It didn't open Audacity. And I was like, uh oh, so it doesn't open Audacity. Looked at uh, my, my tabs, which I can see like this, you know, and I could see, oh no, Audacity was already open. Uh, so I opened the program and now it had that old audio recording still open, which I had already cleaned up and fixed, you know. And I uh, realized that what will happen now is that when I close this program, it will probably merge uh, this audio into this new recording. And that recording I'm doing now might have already overwritten the old one and stuff. I was like, oh no. So I closed Audacity and that is exactly what happened. So now I have a, a video file here with the wrong audio on it. Uh, it's actually the, the video I, I just recorded, which is uh, a general information about Advent of Code, but it had the audio from when I was solving uh, the puzzle uh, earlier today. So yeah, this, this video is just jank. We can even delete it. Now it's gone. So we don't have to worry about that. But um, that just happened. So I will not upload. <laughs> day two there, because that video uh, simply just doesn't exist. It, it, it wasn't what I deleted there now, because what I deleted was this uh, weird video. Uh, the solution video, is it, it's just gone. And I, I guess I could use like some hard disk recovery tool or something to try to get it back, but let's be real here, I will never do that. So day two will not get added to this list. So I broke it, broke my my thing here uh, before it started. But it doesn't matter, I will upload day three instead. Uh, because what this is, this is a list here uh, called AOC 2020, where I will uh, upload as many videos as I uh, want to <laughs> this for this advent of code, where I uh, make the solutions to them. And why I highlight this 
playlist is because the videos uh, themselves are set to be private so you will not see them in the feed they will be unlisted or they are not private they are unlisted so this video won't appear on your channel page it is it also won't appear in YouTube search results uh, unless someone adds it to a pub public playlist. So yeah, yeah, I don't know what happens then because I added it to my public playlist now. So I guess you could search for this, but it will not show up in, in, in any feeds or on my channel either. You have to go to that playlist or know the URL for the videos here. And I will add all of these uh, Advent of Code videos like that to that uh, playlist. Just because I don't want to spam my feed, you know, because the, these videos are a bit weird. Uh, because what is Advent of Code, you might ask. Some people watching this have no idea what I'm talking about here. But because Advent of Code is uh, an advent calendar that is available each uh, December. Where every day you get, you get a new uh, programming puzzle that you can solve. Um, and... It has been around since uh, 2015 and uh, you can actually look at all the other uh, and uh, do the puzzles for all uh, all year's calendar. So, so right now there are 15 times 50. Yeah, there, there's a puzzle you could solve. <laughs> what is it? Uh, 75, I guess. No, 750. 750 puzzles, I think. Echo 15 times 50. 750 puzzles is available. But uh, this every December a new calendar is released and then it looks like this. For every day uh, a new uh, yeah, puzzle is available. So now I have to wait here to get day 3. It will be available for me in 9 hours. Uh, and that means 7 o'clock here in Sweden. Because it's released at the same time um, all around the world. So in New York it's like at midnight. Uh, and then if you want to, the, some people take this as a competition and try to be best in the world, fastest in the world. Because you can kind of measure that since it's released at the same time everywhere. So we can look here at day two, for example, which took me, yeah, I can say it now, even if I've deleted the video, because I'm, a, I'm an honest guy, you know, for, for me, it took 40, 40 minutes. It took one minute here, or two, one minute, 47 seconds. It took, took me almost 47 minutes <laughs> to, to do this uh, day two, both stars, because each day is divided into two puzzles, actually. But they are very related. You can usually reuse uh, most of the code you, you use on the first puzzle on the second. But the second is usually more difficult. But if you do both, both uh, puzzles, you get two stars. But you don't have to get the stars to be able to open. Even if I couldn't solve any of the puzzles here on day two, I could still access day three and so on. And as, just as I mentioned, you can go to any year here, for example, 2015 is the first year, and then you can open any of these uh, uh, days here. Uh, and it's it's exact same uh, thing. It, it's a puzzle with two stars. And the puzzles work uh, like this, by the way. If we open here one random uh, day 10, I will not read the puzzle or anything here, but you can see it's uh, some kind of a... Thing here look at and say sequence and blah 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 you kind of have to write a small little program uh, to solve this and then you usually yeah this was different I have, have never seen this but uh, usually there is a link uh, to an input file you need to download but here the input was uh, simply this short thing here um, so every person who log into Advent of Code because you have to have a, an account. I have an anonymous account here, but you still have to link that to a social media account like um, I think uh, GitHub of course, but Reddit and some other uh, Google, Facebook maybe even. I, I don't know, but you know this authentication stuff. But you can actually get an anonymous account on Reddit, basically. Use a VPN and just a made-up email address. And then you got a valid account to register uh, on Advent of Code with. If, if it's super important for you to be anonymous. But 
doesn't really matter uh, in my opinion but that's something you need to do because you need uh, uh, advent of code here <coughs> will give each participant an, a unique uh, puzzle input for each uh, puzzle uh, so that means that even if two people have the exact same uh, program or solution, they will still uh, have different inputs, meaning they will get different answers. And that in turn means that you cannot cheat on this by just finding the, the code here to pa paste here as the answer, because your answer depends on your input. Um, but usually it is a, a, a file. I've never seen it be, be presented like this. I guess it's because it's so short here, because usually it's a much larger text file that is the puzzle input that you download here, and, and then you just solve this in whatever language you want. I have used Bash here. Here's my solution for day two, by the way. It's very dirty. Uh, uh, I think I will clean it up a bit because I haven't really decided what to do. I will add that to uh, the show notes and inform it on, on the Advent of Code uh, play, playlist videos when I do so. But I think I will make some kind of a GitHub uh, repository with all my solutions for, for each day and stuff. But whatever, that doesn't matter. You, you don't have to... All, all, all you present is a solution. So we could, could even see here, I guess I am in that directory here. Um, yeah, if we execute uh, day two here, the script, the solution looks like this is the solution. We were supposed to find like valid uh, fake passwords here, kind of. So 346 valid passwords was the correct answer for me, but it uh, will differ for everyone since everyone got different uh, um, input files. This is what the input file for, for this problem looked like. And you can see it's quite large. It's like 10 or 1000 lines of uh, yeah, this stuff. But you could, of course, take someone else's program and just pipe your input into it and, and, uh, and get the correct solution. If, uh, yeah, that, that could happen. And some people do that, I guess, but I, I, I don't care. Uh, the guys who, who enter the leaderboard, they don't, they would never have time to cheat like that, you know. And they are also probably too fast for any AI uh, to compete with them. Uh, I know on the first first day, uh, the first puzzle was solved in, in uh, uh, 30 seconds or something. So, but uh, yeah, in theory also, you could probably write an AI parsing these texts, but the text is written, um, uh, there is a lot of, of like storylines that doesn't at least in the later puzzles, 2019 and 2020 here, it's, it's kind of a long story at the beginning that isn't related to the puzzle at all and stuff like that. That would probably confuse uh, an AI a lot uh, and so on. It, I believe it's quite hard to cheat, uh, actually. And it doesn't matter. And you don't have to take it as a, a, a competition at all. It's, it, yeah. It, if I would do that, I, I would uh, not feel so good because I'm, I'm probably not even on top thousand, top ten thousand even. Um, but those who get on the lead, global leaderboard here, they are most likely competitive programmers. You know, they, they, they do this all the time, uh, compete in different competitions. For them, it's no, not a big deal. I was actually surprised to see that uh, on day, well, day two here, this is insanely fast actually. But on day two, both the puzzles were very similar. Um, so it was almost that, that you got both, both solutions uh, with one, or both answers with one uh, solution. Uh, day one was a little bit different, but whatever. And you, yeah, if you're anonymous and stuff, then it doesn't matter. You don't have to worry. And that, isn't, that is never the case. You can, if you have entered any position you would get on the leaderboard is, is, is like better than no position. I, I don't think anyone uh, should think that I, I want to be anonymous in case uh, like for in, in the future, if someone see that I'm just like, uh, my position is 1500, you know, that, that's not good for employers to see. I think it's, it's be better to show uh, that, that you actually have done this. And I, I, I believe that, uh, uh, this is something that matters a little bit, at least. If, if you are trying to get a job as a programmer and stuff, then you could definitely re reference uh, 
that you have done Advent of Code every year and whatnot, and especially if, if you have a GitHub uh, uh, repository or something linked to it so you can look at the solutions as well, but you don't really have to do that. You never have to show the code. Um, you just submit the, the output here, this thing. You never have to submit the, the program itself or anything. It doesn't matter how, how you write that. And that means that you can write it in any language. Uh, and if you are a crazy person, you can write it in Bash, which I have intended intended to do this year here. So I will, uh, we, maybe we can look here. This is my solution for, for uh, day one here. Here I actually uh, sort sort the input, but I do that here with pure bash because that's what I want to do. Instead of using the sort command, I could just do that on the input file immediately to get a sorted list, but uh, I really want to try to do this in, in pure bash this year. But it, you, you can do it in any language you want and you can mix languages. You can do it in bash one day, awk another day, JavaScript the third day, whatever. No one cares. Uh, it's a good way to learn a new language. Uh, it's a good way to get better at your current language because what, what happened for me the first day here, yeah, you can see that in the video actually on, on the playlist. It's extremely cringe this first uh, Advent of Code day one here, but I, I will upload everything that I don't mess up like this, that, like I did now when I broke the video. Uh, because I, I was actually just about to clean the sound on, on the video I had recorded and then my plan was to upload both of them here uh, right now but now I have to do this video instead here but uh, you can see in that video that this solution looks no nothing like the one I, I, I used to get the stars and I wasn't satisfied at all with with the solution I, I wrote there uh, and thought this must there must be a better way to do this but I couldn't really figure out I, I tried to refactor that code but I was still not uh, happy with it so what I did after the recording and stuff uh, a couple of hours later, I entered uh, the Bash IRC channel and just asked, has anyone done uh, Advent of Code today? I'm, I, I feel my solution is, uh, it's, it's so ugly, I said. And, and they were like, uh, and it was like five person people who had all, also done it in Bash, uh, in that channel, since it was the Bash channel. But some, some guys there also did it in different languages, even the Bash guys, you know. Um, but we instantly started talking about different uh, ways of approaching the, the problem and so, some guys had, had really smart ways of doing it and uh, there are other uh, places online where you can discuss uh, each day's uh, problems and, and that's, that's a very good way to learn since you are invested in the problem, you already, uh, you already have tried to solve it yourself so when someone presents an alternative solution you kind of instantly understand it, you know. It's, it's hard to describe, but I think you understand. Uh, and that is very valuable. And especially if you want to learn different, another language, you know, if you have solved the problem in your language and, and you have really thought about it, you know, which you have to do when you solve it. Uh, when you see the solution, you, you kind of know, uh, know the, the workings of, of the solution when you look at it in a different language that you might not be good at, you know, or might not know at all. It's a very good way to, to learn languages that way. Uh, whatever. That is what I will do here this month. Uh, I will do this Advent of Code and I will upload videos to this uh, secret playlist uh, and may or may not upload any other videos because I have a lot of things to, to do uh, here now in December actually. So we'll see how, how much other content I will publish but I will try to, to uh, uh, keep up with this Advent of Code and get up at 7 and do the ex uh, do the solutions uh, just as a fun thing and why not also record that and upload it since the playlist is, is private so if you're wondering what's going on that is uh, one thing that's happening but then at december 25 you know christmas day or the year dagen as we say here in sweden uh, then i will not have that much uh, else to do and i think uh, there will be a, a very different pace on the Bud Labs, uh, Bud Labs stuff after uh, Christmas. I have planned on, on um, entering a new um, gearing up or whatever. 
we'll see. I think it, it, we might do something fun, uh, Christmas, New Year's Eve there, and then 21 next, uh, next gear. Okay. But I hope you have a great day and you have a great December in case we, we will not uh, hear from each other uh, till then. Merry Christmas if, that, if you need to, need to hear that as well. Go you. Uh, do Advent of Code. It, you have nothing to lose really. It's uh, super fun to do it. I should also say that the, yeah, today it, it took me 40 minutes to do this. Maybe I would have done it in 30, 25 if I hadn't recording uh, and, and stuff. But just be aware that it can take about 30 minutes, uh, I guess, is an average for someone at my level, maybe, or maybe not. It, maybe people are much better than me, uh, programmers, maybe take, it takes 30 minutes for them as, as well. And some people do it in one minute, but these, these are like, um, they are competitive programmers. They, it, you shouldn't compare yourself to, to, to these guys, it, they, it, it, it's insane. Uh, so it's not, not weird at all and you're not a bad programmer just because it took you 45 minutes or maybe an hour. Some, some days takes an hour and some days you, you just get on the wrong track, you know, you try to solve uh, something with the wrong solution and you get stuck on that solution for 30 minutes before realizing, hey, this will never work, I have to just redo everything and that, then it can take an hour. Maybe take more. It, it doesn't matter at all. And most people give up after just one day. And maybe 50% will give up after two days. And then it's not that many that actually compete, com complete the whole calendars each year. I know there, the guy behind all of this, uh, Eric Wassel here, he made a great talk. I both listened to it on a podcast uh, and I also saw his, a talk he did on, on YouTube about it. Maybe if we open this, we might find the uh, URL, because I guess I can recommend that. Yeah, he's really into Perl and CPAN and stuff. Uh, yeah, let's quickly YouTube him to see what this is about. It's kind of a, a cute story, this whole uh, advent of code. Yeah. Search for this guy on YouTube here. You can see he, he did uh, quite a lot of talks uh, yesterday. And here you can also see a lot of people upload this uh, just as I intend to do here. Yeah, here elite hackers here doing it in seven minutes. Here's someone doing day one in C++. Took him one and a half minute, one and a half hour. <laughs> Yeah, it was super easy 2019. Whatever. Um, this guy, Swedish, fun, fun faction, function. I think he have stopped uh, his YouTube channel. Whatever. Uh, I recommend uh, watching Eric's uh, talk about, about behind the scenes here. Uh, I don't remember which one of these I, I watched, but I guess it's the same thing. Um, well, it was probably this, Öredöv. Because this is a... Swedish in Malmö conference uh, and that's why I listened to the podcast because it was on a Swedish podcast I interviewed him also but the story uh, about Advent of Code on, and how, mu how much work goes into this and it is actually this guy who does most of it it, it seems um, he um, and he spends like <laughs> Uh, all year coming up with all the puzzles and stuff and, and you, you can feel that it is like uh, there is uh, a soul uh, so to speak on, on the calendar and it's not something it's not easy to do this uh, you're uh, set up a, a calendar like this yourself and also knowing that like everyone from from like the best programmers in the world to to like complete uh, noobs will, will do this and it you don't want to scare off the noobs and you also don't want to scare uh, and make it too easy or, or too childish for, for the seasoned programmers or whatever. And I think they actually keep, in my opinion at least, it, it, it's a very good mix uh, and fun to do for anyone, no matter, no matter the level you are at. And if you feel that you are, no one can get better than I am. You know, just do another language, uh, do something completely different, like Prolog or Haskell or whatever, you know, fourth, I don't know. 
because most of them, or this, the, you never need anything more really than a terminal. If you can do it on a terminal, you know, meaning any programming language, uh, you can solve the issues. You don't need any 3D graphical stuff or, or things like that. But some of the problems, might, there might be a benefit uh, being able to, to plot uh, the solution. Uh, I know I, I actually did one for 2019 or I started doing it here uh, yesterday. Day three here is, is some uh, path tracing problem. And when I did this, I, I kind of felt that it, this would be nice if I could just render this, uh, render my paths on on um, on a web page or something like using JavaScript would be a great way to solve this uh, uh, problem. And the input file here for that day, I got it somewhere. Yes, it's here. It's like this. This is the path, you know. So it's kind of a super long path. It's impossible to do it on a terminal. You would not need like. Uh, 5,000 columns to be able to, to draw the path, but it would would have been no big deal to do it in JavaScript. You could just zoom out and just to see, you know, you could actually do that. And if you are really good and fast in, in JavaScript web dev, then you could do, do this uh, like that. And uh, there are lots of people who do it in, in the browser. They just uh, just do it in dev tools, you know, open this and, and then do the, do the problems here in the console. It's, you could do that as well. Whatever, that is what I will do, uh, and I kind of hope that you will do it too. I will not add a leaderboard or anything. If you want to do that, you can do it, and if I see it in the comments that someone have created a leaderboard, uh, if you want me to, I can make a shout out. Uh, um, and just make comments on the videos. It, it's just fun to read, you know, uh, about the alternative solutions, and, and when you see I do something terribly wrong, ju just shout it out to me if I don't catch it myself in the videos. It's very good to hear about it. And uh, uh, these are very different, you know. That's that's one reason I, I make this private playlist here. It's because uh, these videos are quite different from, from my normal videos where, where I know what I will show and I also have tested and, and kind of made, I have already written almost every time I make a video, most of the time. Sometimes I don't, but I kind of know what I will do anyways, you know. Uh, but I usually test the scripts and write them out before I record the video, even if I do it from scratch in the video again then. Just so I know uh, the structure and so I don't get like uh, lost somewhere or make something embarrassing uh, code wise and so on. Here, this is all, all of that in reverse, you know, I have no idea what I will do. Uh, there are maybe issues that, or problems that I have never tried solving in any way before. And so, so the pace is a lot slower and weird it's also you don't learn anything from watching my my videos i guess uh, it's kind of painful and also bash is, is a super awkward language for this it, even if i shouldn't make that that excuse but it it actually is you know and, and I, I think most people would agree but almost any other language uh, that is not a shell language is is uh, better um just uh, from the top of my head, I would say that, uh, yeah, JavaScript is probably great for this and uh, Python, Perl, Awk is probably excellent advent of code language, uh, but you could uh, absolutely do it in C or C++ or whatever. But, you know, these uh, languages that are fast to, to get started with, fast to get uh, output and that are good at parsing input, you know, that's what you want. So Awk basically. A go is probably great too, but um, uh, in my toolbox it would be awk uh, is the language I know the best that I would probably do the solutions fastest in if I used awk. Um, but it doesn't matter, the language really doesn't matter and you can do it in different language, different days if you want to do that, whatever. But the videos are different. Uh, these videos on the playlist and, and they are kind of painful to watch and, and you know if i would just upload this normally uh, and people go oh this bug labs uh, add not to code I, i've been interested and then they see this they they will never uh, it, i don't think it's good for anyone if these are just publicly uh, uh, uploaded normally but they will be available here so you can just watch them if you are a hardcore bug lab fan <laughs> yeah okay 
So, Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye.